What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I will be doing chapter 21, problem 11 in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition by Dural Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. And chapter 21 is all about electric charge. And in particular, uh, number 11 um, discusses three particles. And they look something like this. Where you have the three here, we'll just call them one, two, and three. And there is some distance one distance one between these two and distance two between two and three. And we are told that particles one and two um, are not able to move and three can move uh, freely however it ends up. And so we are asked to find um, the ratio between charge one and charge two if these two distances are equal. So since charge three is the one that is able to move freely, we need to um, find the force that is exerted on that uh, particle by these other two. So we're going to say force of particle three is equal to the force of particle one on three plus the part plus the force of particle two on three and we have our fundamental force equation um, force equals k q q over r squared um, this, this being q charge one and charge two and your k value is your uh, one over four pi epsilon sub zero and so now if we take this and put it into here, we get K Q1 Q3 over, um, and uh, our, our, the radius from 1 to 3 now is distance 1 plus distance 2. So we need to write distance 1 plus distance 2 and square that entire quantity. And then for the second part here, we have K q2 q3 over this distance here which is d2 squared and now if you look here um, normally you have to square this whole thing but because we have um, because we're told in the problem that distance 1 and distance 2 are equal we can actually further simplify this by saying k q1 Q3 over 2 distance squared plus K Q2 Q3 over distance squared. You got to make sure you um, square this 2 here as well. So when you do that, you'll get K Q1 Q3 over 4D squared plus k q2 q3 over d squared and so since we're trying to find the ratio between q1 and q2 we're actually gonna um, subtract this quantity uh, to the other side so we're gonna get negative k q1 q3 over 4d squared is, and that's going to be equal to k q2 q3 over d squared. And if you look, we actually have a lot in common on both sides, so we can cancel stuff out. We can cancel out k on both sides, charge 3 on both sides, and d squared on both sides. So here we're going to have negative q1 over 4, negative charge 1 over 4, and that's going to be equal to Q2. And then if we simplify this again, we can flip these two and then we will get um, negative Q1 over Q2 is equal to 4. And if we just move that negative over the other side, we find that the ratio between charge 1 and charge 2 is equal to negative 4. And that will be your final answer. So that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, please drop a like, 
leave a comment if you have a question about something I did here or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.